day one of the Australian Masters here at Metropolitan Golf Club in the record books. I'm joined by Bruce Young from IC Golf, analyst over there at IC Golf. And Bruce, we got here this morning, there was very strong winds. Didn't look like there was going to be much in the way of scoring. Four players leading at five under. Well, and I think it's the amount of players under par also, Rod. When, as you said, when we arrived this morning, it looked like par would be a very good score around here today. But a lot of players under par and a number of them well under par. So very impressive scoring on just one of the great layouts in Australian golf. Indeed. One of them, Stephen Bowditch, had his first win on the US Tour this year. Has never won one of the big ones here in Australia, though, one of the Triple Crown events. No, he's won a few of the lesser events, the Von Nida Tour events, the Tier 2 events, but he's never really won at this level. So this is a great opportunity. He obviously brings a lot of confidence from that win this year. Uh, playing well, played with his good mate Boo Weekly today, which I'm sure helped a bit. And uh, he seems pretty well set up for the week at this stage. Yep, yeah, knows there's a long way to go, though. Yeah, it's only day one, so we've got a, we've got a long way to go. And, and uh, I guess I'll know... I guess I'll know uh, more how I feel and how I sleep tomorrow, you know, with the lead and, and then on the weekend and, and see how it all feels. Four plays in the lead, as we said, Bruce, Steve Allen, the O2 Australian Open champion on them, but probably of more interest, Todd Sinnott, young amateur, who's a member here at Metropolitan, five under today. Very impressive player and certainly Stephen Bowditch was impressed with him. He talked after his round today about just how far Todd Sinnott hits, but as Steve said, there are a lot of young guys out there that can hit the ball a long way. But what Todd Sinnott has is control of his golf ball. He's got a lot of experience in the sand belt, played very well at the Asia Pacific Amateur a few weeks ago and finished second at the Master of the Amateurs at the start of the year. So he's got a lot of skill, a lot of uh, experience on the sand belt. And as you said, he's a member here. So very good start. It'll be tough for him to keep going, but a very impressive young player that's got quite a future. Yeah, young, young players in a big fishbowl. Interesting to see. At the other end of the scale, Bruce, Michael Wright. Uh, as young as Todd Sinnott is, Michael Wright probably describe him as a journeyman. He'll be out of his comfort zone, I think, up here at the top of the Well, road. it's not a term, Rod, that everybody likes <laughs> journeyman, <laughs> but uh, for, for Michael Wright, I'm sure he doesn't really care what he's called at the moment, because this is a very good start for him. He hasn't really experienced a lot of success in professional golf at the elite level, but he's played very well in the lesser events on the PGA Tour of Australasia. I think he won the New South Wales PGA one year and he might have won a couple of others at that level. But he's only his best finish at the elite level or the flagship level of events in Australia has been fifth. So this is a great start for him. He's a quality individual. I like the bloke a lot. I'm really pleased that he's made such a good start. Let's hope that he's able to go on with it. And he, of course, was very honest, as you say, and he told us he was actually a bit out of his comfort zone out here at the Masters today. When the mind gets busy for me, I'm in trouble. And a couple of holes coming in, it got a bit busy. Um, when all you guys turned up, I thought, oh, hello. <laughs> but then, you know, sort of gave myself a good talking to and managed to scramble well. And, a few bars coming in. Yeah, well, some, probably some of the lesser lights there, Bruce, but of course, all the focus, as always, in Australian golf these days. Adam Scott, first Australian to win the Masters. Everywhere he goes, he's got the Greg Norman-like effect, hasn't he? Probably not happy with his result today, but it could have been a lot worse. It could have been. In fact, a lot of expectation on, on him every time he tees it up now. He did such a great job last year, and I guess he brings those sort of same expectations this year. Got off to a very shaky start, was three over at one stage, could have been even more over. But an eagle sort of through the middle of the round got him back on track. And to finish it one over, I think him has him back in the tournament uh, and really, um, you know, a great opportunity over the next three rounds. I don't think he's out of it by any stretch of the imagination. No, certainly those ahead of him will be looking over their shoulder. Oh, I'm sure. No doubt about it. We'll be back here tomorrow at Metropolitan Golf Club for day two of the Australian Masters.